What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you a dynamite video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War and in today's fast uh, snapshot video we're taking a look at King Eomer the Kraken's Eomer build, level 50, server 116, season 6 against Elfheim uh, on the same server of course, also level 50 with Dane. So let's start with Dane's build, okay? We'll talk about what's unique about both of these builds. First of all, Dane has some pretty solid gear, some five star and four star gold items. Very, very substantial might bonus there. Total of 465 might, which is phenomenal. Okay, we have Hithlane at the end for some healing. <coughs> Unit composition is gonna be one march of marksmen just to dodge and attack. It can be very effective. It can actually be a huge damage mitigation uh, once it triggers, which is great. He's got some Ram Riders in here for anti-defense and anti-burn. And he has some Guardians here in here as his main tanky units for his march, okay? Skill-wise, he's got the R3 tree maxed out. He's got the R1, uh, R0 R top tree with uh, 17 out of 15 points and the R5 tree 15 out of 15, okay? Very decent build. There are a lot of different builds you can run on this guy. This is going to give you enormous damage in round 1, uh, rounds 3, 4... Uh, you're going to have a whole lot of burst coming out, okay? Into the EMR build itself. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the gear here is slightly better for sure. We still have 5-star and 4-star gold items, but their refinement level is higher. Um, I think the highest refinement on Dane was, what, a 2 refinement? 1 refinement on the weapon. Whereas Eomer has the same star level for the base stats, but a much higher refinement on the item. So take that into account. Um, all right. Guthwine here is Eomer's Respect level 10 weapon. This thing is phenomenal. This thing gives you a couple unique things that you want to pay attention to. One, plus six attack to mounted is really, really powerful. Two, uh, Eomer's first damage instance of the ground will be increased by this percentage, which goes up with refinement, okay? When his speed surpasses 200, which is easy to do. In addition to that, allied mounted units will prioritize enemy range units when his speed surpasses 350, which it does. So, you can guarantee that those uh, level 2 marksmen on Dane's army are getting hit in round 1, okay? Um, so, skill build-wise, uh, did I look at the rest of the gear? I didn't look at the rest of the gear. Next piece of gear here. This thing is amazing, by the way. This Warborn battle plate is probably the strongest chest plate in the game for Eomer, hands down. Uh, no questions asked, and let me tell you why. This is good might by itself, okay? Then you add in here the strength from dexterity bonus. At four star, four refinement, this isn't even maxed out, okay? But at four star, four refinement, you will see somewhere around uh, 40 to 50 plus might just based on his speed. So that's 40 to 50 might plus the 27 up here plus some troop stats. This chest is an absolute bad A-S-H. Okay, um, next we have a strong helmet. This is pretty typical here. Anti-madness with some speed for the commander. And lastly, he is running Night Star, which is going to give you more speed um, for both the commander and the troops, as well as pursuit for the troops. This is a big deal. So with the anti-madness and the pursuit on these troops, you are going to see substantial damage coming from his units in the first couple rounds. And he will be able to kill units uh on, say, a Gil-Galad march, which is ranged with massive avoidance because he now has Pursuit and he has, through his Respect 10 weapon, the ability to hit Gil-Galad's back line first, okay? Skill-wise, he's got the uh, bottom R0 tree maxed out. He's got the top R0 tree with 22 out of 29 points and the R5 tree with uh, 25 out of 29 points, okay? A lot of damage here. Oh, what am I talking about? This is the R3. I can't speak. We have bottom R0, top R0, and the R3. Please disregard I said anything. I'm, I'm stupid. All right. Into the report itself. Let's take a quick look, ladies and gentlemen. You can see here that Eomer is able to come in hot and heavy with 229,000 damage, ladies and gentlemen. It's in crazy. Uh, the soldiers also come in with some fairly decent damage as well. And Dane just with a little sad face, okay? Into the report. Let's take a quick look. We're going to uh, cut this video short in about two minutes. I don't want to waste too much of your time. This is a nice, quick snapshot, okay? Here we go. This is that might from the chest piece. So Eomer, strength from dexterity, 45.4 might, taking his total might up to 388.9. Insane. Insane to the membrane. All right? 
So Eomer's giving tactical march to his units. He'll deal a ton of damage in this first round uh, with his units and himself, as you can see here. Uh, and there's the Swan Knights hitting those marksmen first, just like we talked about. So here's Eomer's special bonus. He, it happens once per round in his first damage instance. You can see here he hit those Ram Riders pretty hard. Cataphracts and Bone Knights both coming in with a nice pew pew. And because his speed is so high, his Rohirrim is stacking crazy strong. This will be 45.6% bonus damage from Rohirrim at max level. Okay? Dane is trying to follow in the footsteps here with an Iron Foot and a Stun. Okay? With an Auto Attack. Uh, and here we go into round two, folks. You are going to see Eomer's damage bonus affecting his swing ability. He will deal plus 49.9% damage with his swing on the Guardians and the Ram Riders. It will then drop off, at which point he will grab uh, attack vitals with uh, without the bonus, okay? So a lot of damage from Eomer here in round two. You have 21,000, you have uh, 37,000, you've got about 40,500 damage, oh, plus another Okay, you've got about 45,000 damage. Let's just call it 45. You got 45k damage from Eomer here in round two. Very substantial. Just wait for round three. This is going to be crazy. Okay? Um, as Rohirrim continues to stack up, the damage keeps coming out. Dane trying to make up for lost time here in round two. King under the mountain. Into round three, ladies and gentlemen, look at this damage like the wind, giving a 49% damage bonus to Marshall of the East Mark. Marshall hits for 32k. 32k. Then we have Cleave hitting the Guardians for 27k. So now we're up again, and now we're into almost 60k damage. In fact, let's just call it 62k damage with his auto attack in round two. Absolutely disgusting. Okay? Uh, Cataphracts and Bone Knights are maxing out their Rohirrim bonus. And in round three, le oh, okay, let's look at Dane's damage from Whirlwind. Dane coming in with Whirlwind, ladies and gentlemen, here in round three, hitting for seven and then nine. Some fairly decent damage right there, folks, not too shabby. In round four, we'll see Dane pump out a bunch more damage. Eomer pump out a bunch more damage and see what happens. Okay, here is a swing coming in, um, getting as much damage in as it can, okay. Attack Vitals, Call of the Weak, Auto Attack, okay, and then Dane coming in with Iron Foot, King Under the Mountain, Heavily Wounded, and All In will all trigger in this round. So, round four is a big round for Dane damage, okay? Unfortunately, his troops, he's down to below half of his troop count. He's down to about a third of his total command in round four. Eomer has just been slapping like crazy in rounds two and three. More than 110k damage in rounds two and three combined. Really phenomenal. So into round four again, Dane is trying to come in hot and heavy. He's trying to make up for lost time, but he just can't do it. Ironfoot, 7.7. 7. Uh, King of the Mountain, 6.3. Heavily Wounded, 4.2. And then All In for 23.3. So unfortunately, guys, that's the tail of the tape. There's not really a lot else to see here. If you want to see round six with the next Marshall and Cleave combination, here you go. Another 60k damage uh, in round 6. So, guys, what a powerful Eomer build. I have to say something. Eomer is not a great commander if you don't have the right gear for him because he cannot get enough might from uh, his gear and he typically cannot get um, enough commander damage output because he has low might. With this particular Eomer build, not only do you have bonus damage on your first damage instance every round, which is huge, right? If you add this up over the course of the fight, I'm sure it adds up to like another, you know, 30, 40k damage output over the course of the fight. But the fact that this chess piece gives another plus 40 to 50 might, and you know what? At 5 star 5 refinement, maybe it's plus 60 might. I don't know. But this chess piece is so powerful with Eomer. Um, these two items combined really make the build. Okay, so thanks for watching. Like and sub. I love you guys. Long time. Randy out.